Over 80% of employment in all 47 counties is dominated by 10 tribes led by Kalenjin, Kikuyu, Luya and Luos, with 29 tribes making up for only 1% of job recruitment in county governments. According to a damning audit report on diversity of the county public service released by the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, only 13 out of 47 counties have complied with the recruitment policy, with an number of counties that embrace ethnic diversity and job enrollment falling to 13 this year compared to 21 in the year 2016. Seth Olale with the full details of the audit report that was unveiled at a ceremony graced by civil society and human rights groups. The second audit report on diversity of county public service that coincided with the 10th anniversary of devolution revealed massive ethnic preference and favoritism in job recruitment in county governments. Counties that is the most the 200 page report reveals that the total workforce in counties is 184,876 with female employees dominating at 53% while male employees accounting for 47% of the workforce. Employees with disabilities are 2,089 representing 1.14%. Nairobi County, which has a wage bill of about 1.2 billion shillings, has the highest number of staff at 13,000 513, representing 7.37 percent. Diversity in terms of inclusion. Kalenjin, Kikuyu, Luya and Luo lead 10 tribes that dominate employment opportunities in all the 47 counties with an 80 percent recruitment margin. 29 tribes make up for only 1% of job recruitment in devolved units. And I want to take this opportunity. The Kalenjin tribe lead by 15.83%, followed by Kikuyu that represent 15.77%. Luya and Luo ethnicities are placed third and fourth with an employment rate of 11.6% and 9.81% respectively. Matsabit County tops the list of compliant counties with the Borana, the dominant community, representing 33.41% job enrollment. Lamu and Tana River counties at second and third on the log, with dominant tribes representing 33.92 and 37.72 percent, respectively. Bomet County is the worst in terms of compliance, with the Kalenjin, the dominant community, representing 97% of staff employment. Out of its total 3,357 employees, 3,268 are Kalenjins, while Kisi come a distant second with a mere 26 employees. What does it take for you to have 97% of one ethnic group in entire government. It is a deliberate impunity whereby you intentionally do what is wrong. When you do not diversify, you, um, you make your county lose on the gains that they could get from uh, experiences from people from different ethnic uh, tribes. Nairobi County, which has been ranked as the most diverse county since 2016, leads in counties with highest diversity in workplace with 38 ethnic communities, with West Pukot placed as worst regressed county with a negative 42.35% decline in diversity. Only 13 out of 47 counties are compliant with the laid down employment and recruitment procedures, with a number of counties embracing ethnic diversification in job enrollment falling to 13 this year compared to 21 in 2016. Maybe sub um, unconsciously, we have gone on on that trajectory and now we are making two steps forward and three backwards. 
political interference, budgetary constraints, favoritism, laxity by oversight organs, staff inheritance, lack of clear framework for county employment, and unprofessionalism are among factors contributing to employment non-compliance in the devolved units. Other big issue that we found out is that, you know, people feel that devolution is a gateway to protect the indigenous communities. Kuna hoja inazua ya makabila na vyo. NCIC says next audit will focus on national government and national institutions, an exercise aimed at addressing the inequality in human resource distribution in the country. Makofi kwa Masabit County. Seth Olane, Citizen TV. Only love <laughs>